Hey guys, it's Jake, and today we're checking out the Juggernaut Misha Mansoor signature pickups by Bare Knuckle. So, Misha Mansoor, cool guy, M maybe, I, I don't know him, but he does have cool pickups. So the Juggernauts are the signature pickup of Misha Mansoor, of course famous for his work in Periphery, uh, as well as his solo stuff, uh, Haunted Shores, and just being an overall uh, cool dude. So the Bare Knuckle Juggernauts are Misha Mansoor's first set of signature pickups with Bare Knuckle. They've been around for about eight years. They're not exactly new, and they're not exactly new in this guitar. They've been in this guitar for about a year at this point, but I only just got them wired up properly because when I installed them the first time, I tried to put a coil split in too and messed that up. Uh, so they were just kind of stuck in humbucking mode with no tone knob for a while. But recently I got my tech to wire everything up properly. Uh, shout out to Edward Santos. I think he goes by Eddie the Tech on uh, all of his social medias. If you're in the uh, New York City area and you need a guitar setup, uh, definitely hit him up. He does great work. So anyway, back to the pickups. I finally got them wired up properly. Uh, they split and everything now, so I figured I would give a demo and give you guys my thoughts on these pickups because I think that they're really cool. So something notable about these pickups is that they have a hybrid magnet design. For those of you that don't know too much about pickups, basically the magnet in the pickup is usually either ceramic or Alnico. There's also a whole bunch of other types of Alnico that also give you different sounds, but yeah, ceramic or Alnico usually. And these ones have a hybrid design, which means that they use both. They said that the idea behind this was to kind of get the best of both worlds. Alnico pickups tend to have a smoother top end uh, and a bit less aggressive pick attack, whereas ceramic pickups tend to have a much more aggressive pick attack, but also a harsher top end. So the idea was to create a pickup that was tight, percussive, had an aggressive pick attack, uh, but wasn't harsh. And I think that's what they've accomplished here. I'm sure the magnets don't have everything to do with that, but uh, they do sound like what they set out to sound like. They are tight, uh, percussive, aggressive sounding without being overbearing, uh, and they do have a very smooth and pleasing top end, especially compared to some other H-string metal pickups that I've played. So this is my third set of pickups that I've had in my H-string. I've had DiMarzio deactivators, a bare knuckle nail bomb in the bridge previously, the ceramic version, and now I have the bare knuckle pickup Juggernauts, and these ones are by far my favorite. Starting off with the bridge, it's just everything I wanted of a bridge pickup. It's tight, it's percussive, uh, it has a smooth top end so I don't have to worry about it sounding harsh under high gain. It's clear sounding too, which is a big thing, especially on an H string when you're tuned that low. You want to have a lot of clarity in the low end so you can hear all the notes in those low chords, especially if you tend to do a lot of chords down on the low strings like I tend to do. But yeah, it is tight, percussive, clear, smooth, all that good stuff, and it's a great bridge pickup.
The neck pickup isn't something that I usually give too much thought to when it comes to uh, guitar pickups. Usually it's all about that uh, bridge rhythm sound for me just because I play a lot more riffs and rhythm stuff than I do leads, so bridge is what I go to most. But the Juggernaut neck pickup is probably my favorite neck pickup that I've ever played. This is not a super fat sounding neck pickup. It has a very tight controlled low end and a smooth top end. Uh, it doesn't sound anemic though, it still sounds suitably full compared to the bridge pickup for leads. Uh, and it just has a great uh, mid forward sound to it so you don't lose any notes when you're doing fast runs. It's articulate and all those other adjectives for pickups. It's a great sounding pickup. These pickups also split really well. They don't sound tinny or uh, harsh when you split them. They have a very pleasing, chimey sound to them when you split them, and I really like them for uh, cleans and crunches. I really like split coils in the middle position, generally speaking, and these sound uh, really good in that position too. It just kind of, again, gives me everything that I want out of a set of pickups. <laughs> And the hands, I really like the way these pickups feel as well. They're not overly compressed. Uh, they respond really well to my right hand. So if I really dig in, they respond to that without uh, becoming too flubby or clipping or anything like that. They just respond well to digging in. I'm a very heavy handed uh, picker. So I like pickups that uh, can handle that stuff and it just responds the way I want to in my right hand. If you don't pick super hard and you do a lot of legato, you might struggle a little bit with these pickups. They're not super compressed and they're not quite as hot as you might expect. So they really benefit from being dug into and just picked hard. So if you're a little bit light-handed or you do a lot of legato, these might not be the set for you. Another thing to note is I personally have these in my H string and seven string. They don't have a lot of low end presence at all. So if you're tuning in like standard tuning or basically anything above like drop B, these might not have enough low end for your personal taste. That's a complaint that I've heard a lot. I've played them in higher tunings before and haven't noticed it too much. But yeah, these pickups don't have a lot of low end to them, which is something that I don't mind for low tuned guitars because the last thing I want when I'm tuning down to drop E is for a pickup to be muddy. But uh, that is something worth noting if you're thinking about putting these on a guitar that you keep in a higher tuning. Alright guys, that's it for me. If you want to check out Bare Knuckle, I'll leave a link to them in the description down below. You can build your own set of pickups for a 6-string, a 7-string, 8-string. I think they do 9-string if you request. You can do all sorts of things. You can do cool covers on them. You can make them look like 
they're from the 50s you can like have them etched and shit like that or you can be born like me and just do black on black but you know what that's cool too uh, they they do that <laughs> If you like the music that you heard in this video, I'll leave a link to my band down in the description below. And if you like what you saw here, you can subscribe for more content. So yeah, that about does it for me. Until next time, guys, have a good one.